right, we're gonna play match number three now and let's challenge Blinky. And we're gonna use energy order structures because he is he was YOLO decay and he beat us. And um, he goes first, that sucks, but we'll have to we'll have to make up for that with our plays. And looks like we're gonna draw a mulligan. Actually spark turn two isn't too bad. Um so I was con my my choices to choose for this match were I could use energy order structures or um, mono decay and I was thinking it over and I think that I know exactly what deck he's playing and obviously um, I th yeah I'm gonna draw a new hand and that's better um, I'll suck that I think it's obvious that structures usually beat decay and even though decay's one chance at beating a structure deck is with its um like direct idle damage this his deck is exactly that I still think that um that this is better to do than Mono Decay. And I have a pretty good hand here, but I'm not sure what to sack. Proximaturas are gonna be good. So is that, 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 that. Um, I wanna keep that spark. Yeah, we'll sack the spark, whatever. Cause I wanna, I wanna steady things increase. Okay, so next turn I guess Oculus Cannon, and then I can get the Oculus Cannon attacking with the Machine Dominator or maybe Proximity Charges. We'll see, we'll try to win this match. He hasn't had a turn, one or two play, so that's good. But his hand can't be that bad because I don't think he uh, used a mulligan, so. He gets the blight bear. Okay. Uh, machinated, we will sack. I'm not even sure why I have the machinated in this deck. It's like. It's basically only for. Um, I'll put, I don't know where to put that. Should I block him from crossing through the middle of the board? No, because then you could attack my Oculus Cannon, not do anything. Um, yeah. So, now, I don't know, I'll go Proximity Charge or Divinator. I think this is good. It's going to be hard for him to just deal with the Proximity Charges. I mean, Decay does have some range stuff, but his Yellow Decay that has uh, mostly not range stuff. We'll see. Our Hearts Disciple, okay. Try to, like... And he goes for the extra health, so you're gonna survive a hit on a um, proximity charge. And I'm going to um, sacrifice the clock library for. Now I'm gonna sack for energy. I'm not gonna sack for wild because energy works with. Um... I'll put it right there. Energy works with what's it called? Sudden eruption, and wild doesn't. And I don't. I'm not gonna be able to do speed overs like just yet. So let's see. Uh, he can move down and attack this with three damage. I don't think he's gonna be able to destroy it. Actually, he has uneasy alliances in his deck. He'll be able to destroy this if he has an uneasy alliance. A rod eater, okay. So let's try to draw a burn. That'd be nice. And is he going to attack this? Or is he going to sacrifice his thing? Alright, it's going to blow that up. And it's going to be a bigger rod eater. So actually, never mind. I said burn, but why would we want to burn? Hmm. And now, I almost want to sack the machine divinator. I almost want to. Because I think I am. I like these two cards to play. I'll go ahead. Yeah, okay. I'll play the Ether Pump. I think that's good. Uh, Ether Pump protected by an Oculus Cannon behind it. I like that. And now let's see. X marks. Okay. Um. 
we can put him into a bit of a jam by putting proximity charge here next turn because then his rot ear basically has to kill itself for um, a proximity charge or deal damage his ether pump which would be pretty good for him but then my oculus cannon attacks so I think I will uh, go ahead and put put those down I'm gonna sack for scrolls. See if there's anything better. There's an Oculus Cannon. I like Oculus Cannon. Let's put this proximity charge down. And then next turn I'll put an Oculus Cannon back here. Let's see. So this rider's kinda dead. Unless well it's actually not dead. Because we're gonna move down and then sacrifice something else for this to attack. He's gonna Yeah. Yes. He is going to um, probably attack this and have. Ooh, he's going up. He's going to sacrifice this guy. Okay. So he does not want this thing attacking. But that means he's not putting pressure on my ether pump. So my ether pump is probably going to be able to go off. And it's Loyal Darkling. Okay, we have to still watch out. He's Yolo Decay. He can do a lot of damage. Like, we can't just protect these three idols. Like, he can do some stuff. We're gonna hold on to that sudden eruption. I'm gonna sack the ogre here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sack for energy, and I'm going to play a charge coil and an oculus cannon, maybe. I don't want to put Oculus Scan in there. And then, no, I can't do that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put a Oculus Scan or Charge Coil first. I'll play the Charge Coil. Charge Coil and a Spark. So that means at least you die to the Ether Pump. And we do have a sudden eruption, so we could have fun with that soon. But these both guys, this is hex marks, and that's three damage, and okay. So. Hmm. Let's see. We can, we can go a little long. He has all this stuff to do idle damage, though, so we really have to limit the idle damage. Because we're not going to be able to win that fast. I'm a little afraid because if I fill my board too much structures, if I even get board control, he's going to be able to just like use his, like re regenitures, his little darklings over and over and just probably win faster than me. Um, idols are pretty low now. I'll go ahead. I guess I'll play the Oculus Cannon. No, I can't. I can sack for resource and go with a Sun Eruption. Nah. Get a Ether Pump. Okay, I'm gonna go Ether Pump and then I'll go Forge Oculus Cannon next turn. So I'll go with the ether pump. There. And hopefully this charge girl hits one of these darklings. No, it doesn't. Hmm. He only has two cards. Uh oh. We're tied 1-1 in this uh, first best of five. If you don't remember, my um, we let off with our aggro order and we beat Blinky's uh, decay order. But then his the old decay right here defeated me. Defeated my, um, my aggro order the next match. So now this is my structure, my 
energy order structure is going against his yellow decay. Okay, my idols are pretty low now. This is kind of bad. Um, yeah, I don't... Let's go for more energy. Let's play a forge and an oculus game. Okay. Ah, come on, you gotta hit one of these. Okay. We could lose very soon. The next turn I could get resources and go for the sudden eruption. Hmm. I didn't think you will decay could possibly win two matches for Blinky in the first, uh, the first best of five. But it looks like that might be the case because my idols are pretty darn low. Like these, those are hearts right now can like, he can take out like two idols this turn. Or almost two idols. He's not getting that many cards though. Interesting. So he's buffing up that rod eater. Another R is this, but those are a problem. And now we die really soon. And too bad we just drew a sudden eruption. We're going to need that sudden eruption. I'm gonna go ahead and sack for more energy and play the sudden eruption. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna lose this game. I can't get up to the Iron Ogre. Uh, Tempo thefts or iron or speeds fast enough. Structure energy. I want structure energy because he usually beats decay. But I was second guessing myself because he is YOLO decay. There's a lot of idle damage, and that's basically how decay wins. Okay, so now he just needs one thing. It's basically over. Yeah, it's basically over. Probably like get like a beetle stone win. I wasn't fast enough. Now all he needs is one low darkling. And I think I already sacked like my, uh, my what's it called? My Psalm Giants. Eh, I still have a chance. Our heart disciples are dead. And he already played, I think, a couple. Okay, he's playing a harvester and a Myers Shambler. Maybe his Necrogans? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, VD, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sack the Bounce Dispersal. Actually, I'm gonna sack the Tempo Fifth. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of you and play a Law Memorial. Okay. So let's let's start drawing. Um, I think I already sacked both of my uh, Psalm Giants. I think I did. Really nice if I could just like heal that idol up by just like by two, by three. That'd be really really helpful. By one even. Um, I guess I'll sack them all dispersal. Uh, yeah, I'll get the forge out. 
get this, uh, I mean, get the, I think I'll get the Divinator. I'm going to start dealing damage to more of the idols. I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to get another Forge out. And I'm going to get a Divinator out. Let's see, I could actually, ooh, I could actually win this. If he doesn't have, like, a damage curse, deal with that Divinator. The Divinator could start counting down these Oculus Cannons. Huh. I mean, it's a race against the clock. He's not getting board control back. There's no way he gets board control back. I'm holding... I should, I'm going to be filling the board versus the king. It just depends if I can do nearly enough damage to his idols before he gets any of his ways to win the game. Heck, he could, he could do it right now. But right now he's just playing creatures, so it tells me he doesn't have anything yet. Probably. Mashnid, I'm going to keep. I don't think we're, I mean, Cardra will help us recycle faster, but... Hmm. Um... I'll sack the clock library. Uh, machine chant... I mean, sure. I guess I, I don't want you to be burned. I'll burn you, or machine chant you. I will... I'll machine chant. Actually, yeah, machine chant, and then I'll spark you. And then that's that. So we are getting automatons, and we have things are gonna start doing stuff for us. I'll try to get another divinator out. Probably machinate one of those automatons. I'd really like to get an iron ogre. If I get an Iron Ogre speed now, it works. I'm surprised he hasn't won already, to be honest. And hmm, maybe just gonna wait it out now. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna sack the burn. I'd rather have the machine chant because I can like do a massive play to win the game. Um, there's not really much point in doing anything here. I, I think I just have to get more gun on baton, so I will get another gun on baton. I will go ahead, should I machinate it, and just deal more damage? I guess I could play a clock library to continue to ramp. Yeah, why not? And then a machinated, so you have seven, and I will deal the seven here. Or no, if I didn't, I block it off. So I'm gonna deal the seven over here. Okay. And my board's actually filling up. Okay, the idols are kinda low. We don't want bombards on this deck. Oh, is he gonna get the Beetle Stone victory? Oh! Ah, GG. <laughs> All right, he got the Beetle Sun victory. That's pretty funny. Okay, so now we're down in this two to one, and uh, we'll try to uh, tie it up and get this uh, get this best of five to five games.